Hello children, today we will discuss about chemistry. Topic is chemistry. Chemistry is divided into two parts. First one is inorganic chemistry and second one is organic chemistry. We learn about inorganic chemistry. Inorganic chemistry is the study of synthetic or artificial compounds is known as inorganic chemistry. For example, NaCl and sulfur. NaCl means common study of carbon and its compounds is known as organic chemistry. For example, carbon and hydrogen. Organic chemistry, the study of carbon and its compounds. Carbon, carbon is symbol of C and atomic number is 6. Atomic weight is 12 AMU and position is placed in 14A group of modern periodic table. Density is 2.26 grams centimeter cube. Electronic configuration of carbon 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. Valency is plus 2 and if carbon loses 4 electrons from the outer shell, it has to form C plus 4 ions. This requires huge amount of energy which is not available normally. Therefore, formation is also a remote possibility for gaining stability. Now we will discuss about bonds. First one is ionic bond. Formation of bond by losing are gaining the electrons is known as ionic bond. For example, NaCl gives rise to Na plus plus Cl minus. Na plus e is cation, Cl minus e is anion. Cation pos positively charged ion, anion a negatively charged ion. Now we will discuss about covalent bond. Formation of bond by sharing of electrons is known as covalent bond. There are four types of covalent bonds. First one is single covalent bond. A single covalent bond is when only one pair of electrons is shared between atoms. Now look at the figure. We have two hydrogen atoms and we know that Atomic number of hydrogen is 1. So, one electron from each hydrogen take part in the bond formation. So, in this way, the single covalent bond is formed. Okay. Now, we will go to second one. Double covalent bond. A double covalent bond is one in which two atoms share two pairs of electrons rather than one. Here, number of electrons in outermost layer of oxygen are 6. The number of electrons required by the oxygen to gain stability are 2. So, the valency of oxygen becomes 2. Only 2 electrons from each oxygen atom take part in the bond formation. So, by giving 2 electrons each both the oxygen Atoms form the double covalent bond as shown in the figure. Now, third one, triple covalent bond. A triple covalent bond is formed when two atoms are sharing three pairs of electrons. Triple bonds between atoms are often represented by three parallel lines. Triple covalent bond occurs in nitrogen molecule. Nitrogen has Five electrons in its outermost layer. It either needs to lose five electrons or gain three electrons for stability. So the nitrogen atom forms a triple covalent bond with another nitrogen atom by sharing three electrons each. Now I will discuss about tetracovalent bond. Tetracovalent bond is defined as the bond formed by an atom by sharing its four valence electrons with another atom. 
the term tetra means four here carbon atom shares it valence electrons with hydrogen atoms each so in this way methane ch4 is formed if you like this video please like share and subscribe this video